All right, before we getting what we're celebrating, let's wash these limes and this lettuce with baking soda and vinegar because we love what it does and we wanna get all the germies off because we're not growing our own produce. So we gotta buy produce from other people and better safe than sorry. So yeah. One more, yeah, look at that fizzle. That's when you know it's getting it. Look how shiny it is. It's that vinegar. <laughs> yeah. And while we let that set, we'll get into the next clip. I'm telling you, once you get a farmhouse sink, you never go back. I hate the divider in the middle. You've got so much more room to do stuff in. I love it. Please don't bring back the divider sink. All right, why we let this soak for about 20 minutes? We are celebrating because we paid rent two days early, right? No, what's today? Yeah, because there's only, wait, two, three days early. So I used my Target discount to get the margarita glasses and to start me out at my bar set because I don't really have anything here. I have stuff that I got from bartending school, but I believe it's in a bin at my son's father's house. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? This is a better deal than buying them individually. They did not have stoppers at Target. But anyways, so I got the Cointreau and the Don Julio at Sam's Club. So I go to Sam's Club to get most of my stuff, gas, water, snacks for passengers, but I've never been to just the liquor side. Usually I buy the margarita already pre-mixed up and then I saw the ingredients in it. And I'm like, I'm better off just making my own margarita. And when I went to casino school, up in Pennsylvania, there is a casino bartending course. So I've actually went to bartending school twice, but the first one was more specifically casino. But I remember the instructor there. She was amazing. She was like, there's a fun little, I think it's called acronym to remember margarita. She was like, two timing little slut, T-T-L-S, two timing little slut. I know that's so bad with us. <laughs> she was so real and down to earth. So the first T tequila the second c triple sack but instead of having triple sack we're having cointreau because it tastes so much better um again if you don't have the budget for it that's fine um i'm celebrating i'm treating myself i was gonna do a spa day but it was gonna be like 500 bucks to get an all over body wax and like 100 for a facial and like 100 for a mani pedi before tip and i was like you know what this will go a long way so um anyways so the first tea, tequila, the second tea, um, triple sack, we're going to use Cointreau. And then the L is lime and then the S is salt. So two timing little slut, double T L S. <laughs> so shout out to the instructor in Pennsylvania. I just found out that school is no longer there in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, because I was going there for wrestling training. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm close to Parks Casino. Let me go ahead and take this course and work as a uh, table games dealer while I'm in PA training for wrestling. So, and then obviously my TIP certification expired. So I was like, oh, I got to recert it. I got to redo it because I was able to, able to get some bartending events, event gigs here. So I was doing like casino gigs. Now I'm doing more bartending event gigs. So that's fun. Um, eventually I need to set up my blackjack table and have people over, but I'm also scared to serve because if you serve people and they get in an accident, you could be sued. So I'm kind of scared to do that. Now I could make it a BYOB party, but then that means I would have to have video footage that way if somebody did get in an accident and they try to sue me. So I don't feel comfortable um, hosting any parties just because I can't afford to get sued. <laughs> so Eventually I'll have like a barn dominium and I'll have like a little dance hall, uh, like bar and casino area. No real gambling because just, let's just have fun. If y'all want to use quarters, use quarters. BY, uh, no, bring your BY, bring your own quarters. BY, OQ. Yeah. I just have people do that. And obviously it's illegal to collect rake, AKA the house take anything. So if they want to gamble with money, they can use quarters. So, but yeah, um, I don't know, like eventually if you get it into like an LLC, but I don't know, it's just better for people to bring their own alcohol, but then you have to have video footage. Well, do they have one? Yeah. So I just, I hang out and I hang out by myself, you know, there's no good after midnight. So I don't like working past midnight, but, um, so anyways, we got these two at Sam's. So I had some Sam's cash. I'm telling you 
everybody is like, oh, I don't want to spend the membership. The membership pays for itself in the first time. Like I buy toilet or paper products in bulk, hamburger in bulk, and then I can cut it up and freeze it. Even when you buy the Ziploc bags and freeze it, you're still saving more money than you are going to buy a pound at a time at the other stores. So I had a scam caller, but I don't block them until they leave a voicemail. They leave a voice because sometimes legit phone numbers pop up as spam. But anyways, so I had Sam's cash and then obviously you save like this was way cheaper to get it at Sam's. So I got these both. I couldn't decide um, between the Patron or the Don Julio. And there was a special anniversary and I'm like, ooh, let me get in here. So let's open this up. So this one's been aged and then I think they did it in steel barrels or filtered it a bunch of times because usually most of the barrels are wood. That's why you get that brown coloring. But usually if it's a steel barrel, look how pretty it is. So I could not find stoppers. They didn't have stoppers at say, or pourers. So I'm so excited. We're celebrating because we paid rent on time. So I wanted to treat myself to something and I was like, this will be cheaper and it'll go a long way. And the body wax, I think it lasts six weeks. Oh, like you guys can sniff it. Cheap tequila gives me a headache. Top shelf tequila does not. Um, so I love cider and I love margaritas. So I guess technically tequila is my liquor of choice. And Cointreau would be our liqueur. I hope I'm saying that right. So we're gonna save the bottle because some people actually buy empty bottles, especially bartending schools. Um, when I went to bartending school, they, they have legit bottles, but they just use water and food coloring. So we are gonna save this box. We're gonna save this box. We're gonna put it off to the side. And um, yeah, so, you know, usually an ounce of this, let's like, I think it's three to one ratio. One ounce, one ounce, like, yeah. So I do have strawberries in there. I kinda wanna get fancy and make a strawberry one, but, oh, you could smell the oranges. So, TTLS, two-timing little slut, AKA tequila, triple sack, lime, and salt. But instead of triple sack, we're using Cointreau. And it smells like oranges, oh my God. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna be try to be careful with these bottles because again, bartending schools or people who just wanna set up their bar and look like they're popping or whatever. But yeah, I'm excited. So I definitely love margaritas and tacos. I love tacos and I love margaritas. So yeah, I guess my liquor of choice would probably be tequila. I do like mojitos, but I favor margaritas more. So there's that. And so I had like $30 in Sam's cash. So it almost paid for one of these. I think this was 46. No, this was an, I think, you know what? Let me find my receipt. Okay, I have my Sam's receipt. So the Quantro was $33 and the anniversary Don Julio 70th anniversary, um, the age annual, annual, I hope I'm saying that right, was 60 rounded up. So the Quantro rounded up 33, the Don Julio age rounded up to 60. Now the Patron, they had Patron there for 40 something and they had the regular Don Julio on for like 40, 50. But I was like, we're celebrating. So your girl got um, the anniversary edition because it's aged and usually aged liquor is supposed to taste better. We'll see. Um, I don't go out because one, I hate going out by myself too. Like when you work in the industry, you like, it's hard to go out. Like if I just sit at the bar like by myself and it's just like weird because then I'm thinking I'm supposed to be working behind the bar. So. I deal with the public with Uber, serving, bartending, barista-ing. So I, when I come home, I like to make my own drinks. And obviously I already have my own espresso machine. So yeah, so I had um, 
$30, $40 Sam's cash. So pretty much one of these we got for free. And then we ended up just paying for this. So this was a lot cheaper than a spa day. A spa day was going to be a thousand dollars, 500 to wax everything like my whole body. And then, you know, like facial mani and petty. And I was like, mm, I don't have a thousand dollars to spend on myself, but we, so we traded ourselves to $60 because the Sam's cash we had. So when you go into Sam's, they have the ready to serve margarita. They're always moving it, but it's usually where the dairy section is. So everybody likes to get the $5 whole rotisserie chickens. And uh, so once you pass that, it's usually in that area. So yeah, and then I had Sam's cash. So that was nice. All right, so save the box. I definitely save the box because I mean, this people like to collect these. So yeah, I'm excited. So I traded myself. And since today is Tuesday, but we don't know when this will load on YouTube, uh, today is our Tequila Taco Taro Tuesday. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, let me just smell it again. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells so good. And then we got our lime soaking. So yeah, here it is. Isn't she pretty, y'all? And then our Cointreau. Oh, I gotta sniff this again. So yeah, treating myself to $60, which, but hopefully once I'm done with welding school and I start making welding money, I can do spa days. I want to have like, I want to get, you know, I want to feel like a girl, like obviously I am a girl. I was born a woman, identify as a woman, but like, I can't afford to be like a girly girl. It's so expensive. I'm like, oh, I want to get a mani and a petty and my hair trim more than once a year, which they say if you, the more you trim it, the longer it's supposed to get. I don't know. But anyways. Save your boxes, save your bottles, because some people collect that. So, all right. And my Target discount. Yes, I get a Target discount. If you know, you know. So, I got me a Boston shaker, a muddler, a strainer, a jigger, and then a spoon. These are for, like, if you're dealing with um, layering drinks or ice, like, well, you know what? We'll get into that. I should make a bartending series. But Tipsy Bartender is really good. So just follow him. He already has the stuff. And I already have glasses, but I wanted a traditional margarita glass. And I was like, well, if we're going to do Tequila Taco Tuesday every month, let's treat ourselves. So this was 15, but you know, I got okay. student discount 10%, Target red card 5%, and then Barista Starbucks is 10%. So 10 from the school, 10 from barista Starbucks, that's another 10, that's 20%. Plus the target red card, so that's 25%. We got 25%, we can get 25% off of everything except for alcohol. And um, if you wanna get groceries, you get like, it's usually cheaper just to go to Sam's and get groceries because even though I don't get a discount at Sam's, sometimes I get that Sam's cash and I save more when I buy in bulk. So again, you got like, if you know you're going to eat and you can store and you're able to do that, do that, it, you know, again, do whatever's best for you. So I'm excited. I'm going to, and did I mention, I love this counter. I took a picture and I was like, oh my God, that's so shiny. It's because I use vinegar in almost all of my cleaning products. I use it in my, um, obviously washing fruit produce and my laundry, uh, mopping floors, counters, etc. I love that reflection. So yeah, we're gonna wait for our produce and then we're gonna let it air dry and then we're gonna wash these bad boys by hand because dishwashers freak me out. They do. I don't feel like they clean good enough. I'll, I use my dishwasher mainly as a drying rack, but I've used it once, maybe twice since I've moved in. I'd rather just wash it by hand and let it air dry. All right. All right, now we're gonna rinse off all that baking soda and vinegar and look how shiny everything is. I'm telling y'all that vinegar. Vinegar does wonders. You should put it in all your cleaning products and let them air dry. And I wash. I am so excited to use these dishes. I'm so excited to have like my little bar barista area, my coffee and drink bar. All right, let's get in the onions. I love onions, y'all. I can never have enough onions. I swear, Lord, I don't even cry anymore when I cut onions. Like people are like, oh my god, I can't cut onions. I cry. I'm like, I'm just I eat onions almost every day. Especially raw. I love a little crunch crunch and I love tacos and I eat tacos. All right. So <clears throat> we're getting the lime juice. Uh, you can buy lime juice. I, I try to make everything as organic as I can. I just love having limes on me, especially in the summertime, man. 
you mix any mocktail or drink with some lime and tahini or like even watermelon. Oh my God, I discovered that two years ago on the Tiki Talk. Tahini and watermelon. Oh my Lord, y'all. Anyway, so cutting my limes, you know, we're, ha- we're having our wedges and I cut little half wheels and I dissect it because I don't like that thing on the end. There's obviously these are seedless limes. If you can try to find seed limes, those are apparently healthy. All right, we got our spread out. We got our lime juice. We got our limes ready. I'm so excited. We got our half wheel and our wedges. And I love the Spanish onion. The Spanish onion is my favorite. All right. We got the load and the dryer. Now, before we cut our lettuce, let's get our oil heated up, y'all. Because we got tortilla chips at home. Oh, we should probably fish that out. Okay, you guys. And before I chop up some lettuce, I am going to take my spring water and put it in the bottom. Obviously not for tonight's lettuce just so it doesn't brown like the last bit of lettuce did. It browned because I didn't have enough water. So we're gonna put a little bit of that spring water down here. Now again, you can use whatever water you want. Now that I'm dealing with pipes and learning about welding and seeing things, I'm like, especially on the internet, I'm like, no thank you, I'm good. Let me get my spring water. Okay, now we are gonna cut our first one. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, 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 you say no, 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 no. All right, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut our remain lettuce because we're trying to be healthier. And plus, I love tacos. I can, and I'm just gonna go by and cut it some more. However, whatever your heart desires. Listen, I am no chef. I freaking went from medical to welding, all because I was scared to get the freaking COVID vaccine. So we're just kind of like, mm. You gotta be your own doctor, your own lawyer, your own herbalist, your own everything. So one day I'll have my own land and I'll be able to grow my own produce. But till then, I buy from the store, I soak it in vinegar and baking soda, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna put this in here. We already got water on the bottom and then we're gonna put some water on top and then we're gonna put it in the fridge. And then before I get out, obviously I'll drain it, it said. Like obviously, again, Measure with your heart. I'm not <laughs> giving advice. This is just for, for, I don't know, for our Tuesday once a month special. Y'all, I don't wanna chop up all the lettuce, so this is what we got, and then we got the water on the bottom so it doesn't die. It was a better buy to buy it in bulk, and I pretty much eat tacos all the time because I love tacos, and it's Tuesday, and it's Taco Bulls Day. So this is the lettuce we'll use for tonight, and then when I'm done, I'll put water on top of it. So, out of the six, these came in six. We've been letting them dry. <clears throat> Pardon me, I got three left. I ran out of mason jars. So you know what, we're gonna get creative. We're gonna do this, y'all. Better than nothing, so. <clears throat> oh Lord, I got a dry cough, y'all. I got the uh, oil running, because we're about to make tortilla chips. I need to get a deep fryer or an air fryer or something. All right, so we'll put water. These are my Nutribullet things. In the summertime, when it gets warm, I'll make more smoothies. All right. All right, let's see what we got so far. Okay, let's take our skinnier one and put it in the smaller one. This is gonna be a bigger one. So we'll put it in the bigger one. This looks like it's gonna be the smaller one. We'll put that in here. And then we'll put this in here. And we kind of got a little edible plant. <laughs> so let me move this next to my plants. All right, so I got my lettuce here. I'm still trying to let my Valentine's Day roses dry out so I can make my own sage. And yeah, we got more spring water here. This is our little meditation area. My belt broke. I lost a lot. <laughs> I've been losing weight, so I've been adding extra lines. It, I think it went to here, so I had to add one, two, three, four. And when I go to tighten it, this thing just came off. So yeah, we gotta fix that. But um, I love back cones. Uh, I need, I'm trying to make my own back cones. But yeah, we got our lettuce here. Cause again, it was in bulk. And um, yeah. And then during the day, I'll lift this up and have the sun hit it. And then obviously if it needs water, water it. And this is usually what it looks like during the day. All right, let's pressure, let's protect our spring water. And then let's put this in the fridge.
All right, we got out the yuck yucks. We lowered the heat, but I always want to get it high because I hate when you drop it in there and it's not hot enough. And then like the outside of your chip is crunchy, but the inside is, you know, not. So let's put on our vent fan. And then we're going to come here and we're going to lift this up because actually I already have it up. Okay, so we got the window all the way up. And then let's put this window all the way up. And then, because we are about to make chips and it gets really hot in here. All right, now we're gonna make our own tortilla chips by just taking tortillas and cutting them up. I eventually will make my own tortillas, but, well, let's get into it. You hear that sound? That's the vent on, fan on, <laughs> washer and dryer on, and the steamer. It gets smoky in here, y'all. A few seconds each side. I know this isn't the best, but this is the best you can do. Stove top without a deep fryer. So that's why I got all the windows up. All right, now we're gonna take it from this plate to over here and let it air dry and sprinkle a little salt salt or seasoning, an indoor mouth seasoning mix. All right, now that we let these chips um, dry out. We're gonna put them in a bowl. All right, we got our chips in a bowl. We got our little lineup. We got the windows open. We are gonna close those as soon as all the smoke gets out. And we got our oil right there. I should have closed that. All right, this is the last of our rice and beef. I just combined them together when it starts getting smaller. Like I had a big a glass jar of rice and a big glass jar of beef and as I go through it and I just start combining them all right butter makes everything better so I'm just gonna butter this up even though it says it's non-stick do not come at me one day I will have all cast iron but for now I'm using what I got y'all I'm trying to be organic it's so hard one day I'll have land and I'll have my own produce etc etc oh yeah it looks good all right now let's put some of this into here. All right, now I put it on high, toss it for a few because this has already been cooked. Now I'm gonna move it on low and cover it. Actually, I can probably just turn this off. And I'm gonna go take my shower and come back. Except for we're not gonna wash our hair. I usually wash my hair. Um, I try not to wash my hair often because I know it's bad, but Definitely after welding school because my metal, dirt, you know, it's industrial. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, we definitely wash our hair. <laughs> but not going to wash my hair tonight because I washed it Monday night and I didn't do anything physically. But I do want to take a shower because after I eat, I'm probably going to lay down and go to bed and I want to be clean. I always have to take a shower before I go to bed. So to be continued. Now I'm fresh out of the shower except for we didn't wash the hair because... We have welding class tomorrow and we have to wash it after that. But you know that song? So fresh and so clean. Mm. All right, now we're gonna shut. It looks like the smoke from the tortilla chips are gone. So we're gonna shut these. Well, I'm probably gonna sleep with my um, window crack in my bedroom because I can breathe easier. Plus there's like, that's where my patio is so I feel safer than obviously this. So I'll shut these. It's weird, you just pull on it. All right, door shut and locked, windows locked, blinds down. Oh yeah. All right, we have our little buffet. And we're gonna start with our margarita. All right, you guys, we are gonna do two ounces of the Don Julio 70. And then we're gonna do one ounce of the Cointreau. And then we're gonna do one ounce of the lime. And then we're gonna put it in here in our little Boston shaker or a filled glass, pint glass highball. This has been called a lot. And then we're gonna shake it. But first, let's rim our glass. All right, so I'm gonna take a lime and I'm gonna run it along. So it gets the salt nice and easy. Squeeze it 
squeeze a little bit in here because we can. And then we're going to take our salt. And I'm just going to do this. We'll make it look pretty. And then, see how it's nice and rimmed? We're going to put ice in here. I'm obsessed with Chick-fil-A ice. This is what I'm using. Maybe Santa will bring me a bartender ice. Well, I would love to have like spears and all that stuff. But anyways, yes, I like a lot of ice. People are like, you water down your alcohol. That's my prerogative. All right, set this off to the side. We got our glass. We're gonna do two ounces. This side's an ounce and a half. I don't know if you can see that in there. And this other side is one ounce. So we're gonna do two ounces. Oh, it smells so good. All right. Don't wanna be wasteful. Here's one ounce. Send away waste alcohol, there's two ounces. All right, and then we're gonna do an ounce of Cointreau. of lime juice. This might be a little tricky. Maybe not. All right. Now we're gonna shake it. the salt or the lime but I wanted to you know be traditional it's so good it doesn't taste cheap you know like I used to do that five dollar club at um Chili's and I would always get a headache and they were like oh try the Presidente and I'm thinking okay they're just trying to upsell me no it does not give you a headache because it's made with Patrom I believe but yeah, this is good. Now we're gonna take two tortillas. And since this is already hot from reheating our meat, we're just gonna flip it around a couple times. Ooh, that kind of burnt. All right, be careful. Don't try this at home. I'm just trying to reduce, recycle, reuse. Make sure we get it warm enough. All right, let's do the same for this one. All right, so we heated that up. Now let's get some meat and rasps on here. All right, now I'm gonna put some cheese on here. Onions, oh my Lord, I love onions. You can never have enough onions and garlic in this house. Uh. There we go. Some lettuce. Oh, oh, I got breaking news for you. And it's not a, some seasoning. It's a little bit uh, kosher salt. 
uh, iodine salt, black pepper, red pepper flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm for sure I'm forgetting something. Yeah, it ain't good if it ain't got seasoning or hot sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got hot sauce in my bag. I see it, I want it. Bum, 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 ba -da -dun -dun -dun. Oh Lord, the millennial side part. I tried to do the straight thing, it just doesn't look right. Anyways, so these chips, um, they didn't have the flour tacos available. They only had the burrito and then the fajita um, at the bulk store. And I was like, well, let me try it. I recommend the taco uh, brand. They're thinner, so they taste more like a chip. This isn't really crunchy. Okay, I take it back. It's crunchy, but it's soft in the middle. See? It's still bread light. But it's still good. I'm eventually gonna get a deep fryer. I'm gonna manifest it. The Don Wallo got you, girl feeling loose. You know that song by Virgie? Or the part where she's like, drink stop purring, or <laughs> drink stop pouring. Something about the gray goose got your girl feeling loose. <laughs> the Don Julio got your girl feeling loose. Don Julio and Cuatro. Better be careful. I don't want to break these. To some of y'all, it may not be a lot. That's a lot of money. Mm. Mm. I think next Tuesday. I kind of feel like we should do this every Tuesday. What do y'all think? Should we move this from once a month to every Tuesday? God, that would make me an alcoholic. Having a margarita every Tuesday. But like, I got a muddler and I, and I got strawberries. I've yet to load that. So I can like muddle the, muddle the strawberries and we can have a strawberry margarita. And then I got cucumbers in there. We can have a cucumber margarita. Ooh, and we can put some tahini and get some jalapenos and have a spicy margarita. One day I'm gonna go to, uh, I think there's a tequila, 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 Mexico. Anyways, yeah, because it can't be called tequila unless it's from tequila, Mexico. Just like bourbon, it can't be called bourbon unless it's from bourbon, Kentucky, because that's from my neck of the woods, y'all. All right, so let's get into this. Your girl is from Canova, K-E-N-O-V-A, and Canova stands for Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia. I was born and raised in my younger years in the tri-state of Canova. Oh, play me some mountain music like grandma and grandpa used to play. And I'll go on down the river. Yep, the Ohio Valley River. Spent a lot of time in there as a kid. Especially the creek when it would flood. We would take our tubes and just, dude, it was a hoot. Mm. We flew to Cincinnati, got a bowl of that Skyline Chili. So, I'm hoping to fly out to Ohio and... Mm. 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 I'm hoping to fly out... Um, I don't know, we gotta see what the funds look like and how much flights are, but... I want to get an Airbnb close to my siblings, fly out, rent a car, visit them. Mmm. Mmm. I need some hot sauce. Oh, you know. So I'm missing my siblings. My brother and my sister are my world. I hurt them. I'm the oldest. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of hot sauce in this. So I need to visit them. Um, cause it's just too hot for them to come down here in the summer. The summer's when I need to make my money. So I'm like, I gotta get with them and figure some things out. Mm. I'm hoping I can get a straight flight. We'll see. All right. Got hot sauce in my bag. All right, we got some salsa on here. A little bit of more seasoning. Mmm. 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 Mm. So good. 
I'm so happy right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So, we should do this every Tuesday. Well, let me know in the comments below. I guess a thumbs up or what the hell? What? What? What is that? Why? I don't even know. I don't even know why I did that. That was kind of cool though. I have never bought myself something like this. I feel so awesome and I, f I also feel guilty a little bit too. Cause you know, Sam's had for like $7, you could get the cocktail ready to go and you just pour it on ice. You know this, we had to put some work in it. Look, look at how pretty it is. It's got the little, it's gorgeous. Dom Julio, 70. Even that, like it's so nice. Even the Cointreau, look at these bottles. I just, I appreciate the glass work and the artwork. It's gorgeous. So I was hoping my siblings could come here for the holidays, but it looks like, I'm, well, no, I'm not, uh, no. Well, I guess I could if I go on early holidays. Like, I want them to come down here. I'm like, listen, I'll go up there when it's really hot down here, you know, when it's like, probably August would be better. But I'll see how, well, May. I'm probably gonna fly back to Ohio in May because my, my, my sister's birthday is Cinco de Mayo. So cool, and my brother's birthday is May 1st. So they're both May babies. So my brother is the first and my sister is the fifth or Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so, mm. I'll have to get with him. Fly up there, get an Airbnb, get a rental, or go to Turo. I haven't tried Turo yet. I need to try that. Um, I don't know, like I know I get two weeks. I think I get a week, week and a half in between weld one and weld two. And then same thing between two and three. So I'm probably gonna have to be like, hey, um, I don't know. I'll, we'll get, I'll get with them on that. I do want to see them for their birthdays because that's my family. So speaking of family, don't know much about my ancestry. Uh, so I am on the, the ancestry. So I'm on the DNA and ancestry websites. So this one is like blood. So most of my ancestry comes from like Ireland, England, Galatia, and uh, which is Northern Spain, and a bunch of freaking countries in Africa that I don't even know how to pronounce. Um, but they say everybody comes from Africa, so we're all from there. So anyways, during Halloween time, I think like almost two years ago, it was like, how much witch ancestry do you have in you? They were doing like the Salem witch trials and stuff. And I was shocked. It said I was the 13th great granddaughter of Miss Mary Barnes, the last witch hung in Connecticut during the Salem witch trials. Yeah, you never hear about the Connecticut witch trials. So I guess it started in England and then it, the, it came here. But back in those days, um, men the church forbidden divorce so how men could get a newer younger wife was to say oh my wife's a witch so or if the woman disobeyed like it was very barbaric very sad so i'm pretty sure that's what happened because if i had any special powers i would heal people um obviously i'm not a psychic i can't predict the future and i don't have any special powers 
But um, yeah, I just thought that was cool. So when people ask me, are you a witch? Do you? No, I just do cards for fun. Cards, I just do them for fun. Leading up to Halloween, I might do some like, I did like story time with Batsy and I. I might do something like that. Or, um, you know, talking about Mary Barnes since, you know, she is my 13th great grandmother. Um, so yeah, I think that would be fun. So let me nibble a little bit more and get into this tarot deck. All right, we're gonna knock three times to clear the energy. Knock three times more. Spread out the deck. we pulled the four of cups in reversed leading up to this we kept pulling swords now i'm noticing a trend we're pulling cups mystic monday we pulled cups and today on a tuesday we're also pulling cups cups usually means emotions so this card is in reversed and do you see this little guy putting out a hand whatever you're going through right now you need to just you need alone time now, you don't want to be alone too much, but like if your friends are like, oh, let's go out, just be like, hey, I need some alone time. I need to reflect. I need to think. I need to be on the outside looking in is what this card is all about. Don't say yes immediately. Really think about it. If somebody's like, oh, we need to do a girl's trip, a boy's trip, or this, think about it. Do you have the funds? Um, it could, love-wise, it could mean... You know, don't say yes right away. Really think about how this would benefit you. Not to be rude, but we're in that time and era. Like, okay, what do you bring to the table? Because we both can just take care of ourselves when it comes to that. But like, if we're together, like, are we going to save on rent, groceries? Uh, like, are we going to build each other up or is it just going to be toxic? So give it time. People will show you who you are. I have fallen in love so quick. So it's better just to take your time and do it right. Because people people will show you who they are. And when they do, believe them. So uh, I've had a couple of um, court courtings or somebody kind of asked me out informally. And I was like, no, we work together. You don't blink where you eat. So I don't believe in... Now, there's people who... Are happily, are happily married and they met at work and hey, to each their own. Me, I'm not going to do it. So, um, love life, love wise, really think about it before you just jump in. Yes, take your time, date, get to know each other. Um, maybe texting or maybe phone calls because I know I talk a lot. So it's nice just to text. Actually, I don't like to text either. <laughs> When I'm done with work, I just wanna watch something, let my brain go to mush or read a book. Um, so when I'm home, I'm an introvert. When I'm at work, I'm an extrovert. All right, finance wise, cause somebody was like, will you do love finance and uh, self? So finance wise, you know, maybe don't take that trip. Maybe do a staycation. Wow. <laughs> I am definitely feeling that. Maybe I should have done one, one, and one instead of two, one, one. So I did two ounces of the top shelf tequila, an ounce of the Cointreau, aka triple sec, and an ounce of the fresh squeezed lime juice. I think next time we'll do one ounce of tequila and um, one ounce of Cointreau, one ounce of lime juice. Because I'm just like... I was like, I'm tired, I'm ready for bed. But I also have been up since 4 a.m. 
and that was a little late to be thinner, but mm, I'm going to sleep so good. This is why I only like to do it once a month, not every Tuesday, because I am typo, and typos lack dopamine in our frontal cortex, and alcohol has the dopamine axon. So when type O's drink, they get the dopamine to the frontal cortex. That's why they're like, woo, laugh is good, which is what I'm feeling right now. And um, again, back to the 23 and me doing the health and the ancestry report. Like it came back that um, I lost a lot of people due to alcoholism. So I never got to meet any of my grandfathers. Both of them passed uh, from alcoholism, I guess. So maybe that's why I'm not a big drinker, but I'm addicted to caffeine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Tuesday episode. Y'all have a good one. Mwah. And let me know if we should do this again next Tuesday or just save it for the last Tuesday of every month. And I have cucumbers, strawberries, I think we should do a strawberry um, margarita. Yeah, and then we'll just do an ounce of tequila instead of two ounces. Because that, that hit me quick. Because <laughs> I don't really drink. I mean, I have. I've been drinking a lot lately. Because when I buy the bottle of, like, cocktail, I've had one, like, every other day. But that one hit me quick. I'm like, Whoa. That's why in the state of South Carolina, you can't have more than a double. I get it now. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. As always, I do tarot for fun. I'm no psychic. Um, I can't predict the future. And I just do them for fun. And if you would like a reading, let me know. And again, if you're feeling tipsy, um, tips aren't required, but they're greatly appreciated. If you want me to do a tarot reading from you, let me know if you want me to do it for my rate of weight deck or my Mystic Monday deck. Y'all have a good one.